what's going on guys uh, I hope you're having a really good day and uh, I hope this video provides some, at least some entertainment or uh, uh, some knowledge spread about four weeks ago I put out a video on the technique tools that I bought um, my kind of tentative toolbox setup and then the day after I posted a video that was five things that I loved on day one uh, now it's been I've been using them almost every day for almost a month now and I've got five things that I, I don't like. I don't know if I'd call it hate, um, but there's five things that I don't necessarily love about my Tekton tools, so we'll get right into it. Um, number one is gonna be issues with this box, and I don't know if it's all of the sets, like sockets and everything, but this is a uh, specifically a 3 8 drive, uh, Torx, uh, tamper-resistant Torx, and E-Drive. And let me show you really what the deal is. All right, so on top of the fact that it gets dirty and I have not been able to get it off without brake cleaner, which I know is gonna eventually ruin this plastic. Um, <clears throat> when you break it open, there's this cardboard thing. Um, and I think it's so ugly, but you have to keep it in there. So if you take it off and close it back up, and let's say you're driving around, uh, it gets shuffled in your truck or whatever. This is what it looks like when you open it back up if it's not in there. And that isn't the biggest deal, right? Like you can just keep it in there, but it's annoying more than anything. Like I want to be able to open it up and be able to see these beautiful tools, right? Like these look fantastic, so I want to... I want them to be visible. Um, so that's gonna be number one. Number two is gonna be these flex head ratchets. In my first video, I said I was excited to give them a try and that I hadn't used them before. And uh, now I wish I did not get them. Um, you would think it would be super convenient um, to, to put your ratchet like this and be able to ratchet in a tight space. But in all reality, if it's, if you're able to get to it like this, then I'm just gonna put the socket on an extension and use it like a normal, um, normal wrench um, or normal ratchet. Like if you put absolutely any bit of strength into, um, you know, actually torquing this around, it's gonna start moving on you. And I've noticed that quite a bit. So the, this one is actually pretty annoying and does get in the way as opposed to the first one. Um, that didn't really matter. This one actually really annoys me. So I wish I could go back. Um, I'm going to end up replacing these with just the standard ones. Um, cause I'm just, I'm not a fan. Maybe it's me. Uh, maybe I'm just being a sissy, but this one actually bothers me. All right, we're moving quickly. So number three is going to be these pliers. The pliers themselves actually work really nicely. At times I do wish they had like a spring to kind of keep them open so that, you know, it's easier to get them on and then you just put the pressure to close them. That's not a big deal. What I actually have issue with is, is this cheap feeling um, plastic on the actual grip. Like it doesn't provide any comfort and I feel like at some point it's just going to come off. Like it doesn't, doesn't, feel nice in the hand it's it feels cheap and like it's going to be hard and brittle if they saw any bit of sun um it's like that on all of them and again it's not a big deal if it crumbles you know you can plasti dip makes a, a coating you can dip it in but at the same time um you know i want it to feel nice in my hand i don't want it to feel like it's cheap um so that's number three all right, number four is actually gonna be inside um, my drawer and in the socket rails. So the hypothetical scenario would be that, oh, I look at a bolt and I think it's a size 15 or whatever. I would like for you to tell me at first glance, which one of these is, an, is a 15. Like, I wish there was some way, some like I know this one's a 15 because I have, I've spent the last month using it and I have gotten to the point where I can leave a few of them um, not actually turned in. So 
If I'm looking for an odd one, like a 17, I can come in here, pull the 15, go 16, 17, where it should save me a few seconds to, to have some better indication of, or, or marking of which socket is which. And it's a, it's a small inconvenience and would only save a couple seconds, but over, you know, a three hour job or a entire Jeep project, it's going to end up wasting hours and hours. So for the sake of um, quality of time spent in the garage, I would love a better labeling um, on the actual rails. Uh, obviously it's easy enough to pull it up and see that that's a 15. Um, they do a really good job marking on the socket itself, but maybe an extended post with a label on the top. I don't know, that's a hard one to solve, but that's a, a qualm and I'm stretching here. Uh, so that's number four. All right, number five, and this one's another stretch. Uh, as you can see, these are not Tekton tools, and that is a problem in itself for me. Um, I really like when my tools match, um, and it's it's unfortunate, I suppose, that Tekton isn't big enough. So you know, shout out to them, go and support them, all that kind of stuff. At the same time, I'm not affiliated, so don't if you don't want to. Um, but. I really wish that they had more specialty tools. Um, you know, snap ring pliers, um, brake line tools, fuel line tools, AC line tools, all that kind of stuff so that my my tools can all be from one brand. Um, again, it's a stretch, but yeah, I really wish that they had, you know, a bigger option of specialty tools. Another In another video, I think the first video that I posted, I, I talked about triple square, like a dumb German bolt that I can't stand, but they don't have that. So I have to buy this stupid, like $18 Schwaben uh, socket for it. Whereas I know that if they made it, they'd make a beautiful kit for it. So that's number five. All right, I got a bonus one for you, but it's actually inside on my computer. So uh, I'll put the screen up on the screen for you and show you over there. Now, this last one is more a sign of the times than a blow at Tekton, but man, it sucks having to wait, you know, one to two, maybe six plus weeks uh, on all their uh, out of stock tools. But, uh, you know, what are you gonna do? I, I'm still gonna order, right? Um, so those are the six things that, that actually kind of bother me about, about Techno tools. Um, that being said, I still fully endorse them. I, I love the tools that I do have. They're excellent quality. So, um, yeah, take this, uh, for what it's worth and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Thank you.